Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. If you're like me who like to edit similar kind of videos every single day, then I think this video will help you because today I'm going to show you how you can use template feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if I want to make a new project for my tutorial, what I need to do, I have to go here, which is Premiere Pro welcome screen. And from here, I need to click on new project, right? If I click there, then this window will open. I need to give it a name. I'll just name it Premiere pro tutorial right then i need to select project location from here choose location and there i need to select a folder of where i want to save right i'll just save it on desktop tutorial then choose and now the magic will happen which is project template if you don't see project template button here then maybe you are not using the latest version of adobe premiere pro currently i am using adobe premiere pro 2024 version so if you're using a previous version I will highly recommend you to upgrade your Adobe Premiere Pro. So if I click there, then I'll see there are a lot of template. I have made some template and I got some template pre-made when I install Adobe Premiere Pro, right? So I'll just click here, which is tutorial template. If I click there, that template will be selected. Then I will click on create. Then Premiere Pro will load the files and settings from my template and it will apply the template here on my project, right? So you'll see already I got all the necessary folder that required, which is asset folder. There are some assets that will be used on my project. Then audio folder, when I record a tutorial, I record the audio separately. So I'll just keep the audio file here on this folder. Then face cam folder, this is the face cam you're watching. So I'll just place the face cam here. And then this is another Premiere Composer files, then screen record. Because I'm making tutorial, I need to record a screen. I'll just keep the screen record here. And this is the sequence. If I click there, the sequence is ready. I can just start working from here, right? So how you can make a template just like this one? First, you need to close all the things, right? So you can just close all the project. Then just make a new project, fresh project, of course. I'll just make a project which is Premiere Pro Template. Then you can select a folder again. I'll just select the previous folder, which is a tutorial folder. Then I'll just give it none, right? Then if I click create, I'll get a blank canvas. Now you need to organize the files and folders here, right? So first you can make a new bin, then you can name it face cam. Then again, I'll make another folder, which is screen record then for audio then i'll just make another folder for asset and lastly for sequence so these are the folder that i'm going to use for my template right now i can open the sequence folder and there i can make a new sequence which will be my go-to sequence for all of my project, right? I use 4K sequence, so I'll just select my custom 4K sequence and I'll give it a name, maybe tutorial one. You can rename it when you make a new project, right? And from here, make sure the sequence is correct for your template. I use 4K sequence, so 3840 into 2160 and I use 24 FPS sequence, right? So I'll just click OK. The sequence is made. If you use different assets, suppose if you use intro, outro, you can just click and drag it here. So here is my outro or logo animation. I'll just keep it here on this folder, right? So every time I don't need to bring this animation file on the project, right? I can just drag it from the asset folder. I have made some folders where I want to keep all my files. I have already made a sequence, right? Now I can go to file and from here I can save as template. So I'll just give it a name, James Prince tutorial. Then if I click save, then the template will be saved on that template folder, right? I can close the project. Yes. From now, if I want to make a new project, I can click new project. Then I can give it a name untitled then select the folder and from there you can select the template that you want to use so james prince tutorial is the new template that i have made i can select that one 
and then if I click create all the preloaded files will be available here on this folder you can just start working by renaming this sequence maybe Premiere Pro template and then you can just double click the sequence is ready you can just pull all the media files here and you can start working so that is the process that you can follow to use that template feature in Adobe Premiere Pro and I hope if you use the template feature then it will speed up your workflow a lot that is all for today I hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a like and if you need this channel want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro video editing you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one I'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye